Easy. Yeah, she, she's truly a dead then. Yeah. Fucker. A drip. Dud City. The mayor of Dud City. A drip. <laughs> oh, she really is. What's, sort of the bus, definition, say. Uh, what's the definition of a drip? A billionaire heiress who yes. can't answer one honest question about herself. You could, If you're on Twitter, you could call her a drip. A drip. And a dud. <laughs> mayor of Dud City. The bus is pulling in. Once again, the winner... Uncontested. Yes. Make a speech. She's <laughs> is she a fuddy duddy? Thanks. Sir. No, she's not old enough to be a fuddy duddy. She's not a fuddy duddy. No. She's a dud. She's a, she's heading toward fuddy duddy. She's a, dud. a wet end. <laughs> dud city. <laughs> a drip. What's it? What is the definition of a drip? Let's go to the urban uh, dictionary today. Urban. Yeah. Yeah. That's that a, I that think that's an urban them? word, man. I uh, really. I don't hear. No, many I mean of as far as the Urban Dictionary. Oh, they, I thought like the gangster rappers were using. Yeah. No, they take on words like that. I don't know if the uh, traditional yeah. dictionary takes on the. See, there it is, Urban. Yeah. What do they say for drip? They say drips. Well, for for the well, we are on the Urban Dictionary here, yeah. so <laughs> okay, <laughs> keep that in mind. Uh, it's a case of chlamydia or gonorrhea where a, <laughs> as a male's penis drips or leaks, pus, urine, semen unwillingly due to the infection. Oh, that's not. Uh, <laughs> you want an example of a, uh, in a sentence? Yes. Uh, did you hear JoJo's dick got the drips? <laughs> <laughs> JoJo, who's fucking JoJo? JoJo's yeah. dick got the drips, did he, yo. Did he fuck Sweet Lorraine in a modern? Is that what happened? <laughs> <laughs> hey, the second one down has it. Third one down. Yeah? Drip. Slang. Ah, this is slang dictionary. Yeah, let's go with... Uh, yeah, right. Yeah, right. Go, there was another one. All right. That's, that's sweet little red All right, here's a drip. Uh, wow, man. Origin, please. No. Definition, please. I'll wait till you hear the spelling bee. D-R-I-P. Drip. Uh, oh, they, I'm going to have to get the... I mean, they're going with just <laughs> fucking drops over and over again. Yeah, Try the regular like dictionary. It might there be in go. there. All right, here we go. A drip is a nerd. An oaf. An oaf. <laughs> comma, a nerd. <laughs> Bob is a drip, I guess, but he's harmless. <laughs> a drip. So maybe she's not a drip. What's a dud? Look up dud. Yeah, a dud might be better. A dud. Did no one, Nobody... Wants to be known as a dud. <laughs> a dud. <laughs> How is that show? What a dud. <laughs> you want to... It's probably a bomb that didn't go off or something. Yeah, well, uh, that's the number two. Number one, a device, comma, person, or enterprise that proves to be a failure. And then uh, a shell or missile that fails to explode after being fired. Yes, synonym, synonyms, a fiasco, debacle, fizzle, <laughs> miscarriage. Yeah, I love that as a synonym. A synonym. <laughs> Did you hear Mary had a dud? <laughs> a dud. Mary, yes. A dud fell on the floor of the bathroom. Oh, it's horrible. Mary's husband was brushing his teeth. He stepped at her dud. <laughs> dud. <laughs> I kicked her down the stairs. Thank God the dud fell out. <laughs> because he didn't want the baby. Oh, why am I saying it? <laughs> dud. Hey, Jimmy, you like this one. It says related words for dud. Flop, washout, misfire, bomb, turkey. Oh, a turkey oh, is a good one. A turkey. Oh, also, another one, a flop. Flop is a flop. great word. Oh, that... Did you see that play? It was a total flop. <laughs> flop. Because I think that comes from you just if you throw something on the ground, it just goes flop. Yeah. It just flops on the ground. It's useless, nothing. So let's call her a flop today. She is a flop. Her show's a flop. A Did, dud and a flop needs to be used on Twitter today. And, and there's a funny I review. Guess gotta not, I guess we got to move on from drip, unfortunately. In one of the papers that says something about it's just it's, it's bashing some romantic comedy, and it just says it's a rom com. Bomb, and I just think that's it. a bomb is a very funny word when you really think about how awful it is to have your project yeah. be a bomb. <laughs> Nobody wants to bomb. You don't want to bomb. <laughs> what, well, how was uh, how was Bill? Not good. He was bombing on opening night. <laughs> yes. Nobody wants to bomb on opening night. He was bombing. In that flop of a play he's oh, in. Oh, that play was a dud. <laughs> it was a monumental bomb. <laughs> what a flop. Hey, uh, 
This is the review you were saying, then we'll move on from, yeah, from Yahoo really TV. Fantastic. Paris Hilton wants you to like her. Really. The starlet and paparazzi target has a new reality show. The aim of the show is clear, to change Paris's image and make her a more likable celebrity. That is not going to happen whatsoever. This is going to fail miserably. Good luck. Uh, unfortunately for Paris, that goal might be more lofty than she initially thought. According to early reviews, the billionaire Barbie comes off as a bit of a jerk. And a that's bit. what we thought yesterday. And we... We weren't filming a reality show. A bit. A bit of a jerk on the Oxygen series. And then it goes on and on, blah, blah, blah. So. All right. I guess we're done with that. Oh, wait, there was something you said. Shit, you made me think of something. Drip. More like. No, no, flop. more likable. Um, oh, I don't remember. But uh, she really just isn't nice. She, oh, she's trying to change her image? That? Maybe. Um, Some people could change their image. She's, sure. It ain't happening. George Foreman. That. But she doesn't have the personality to change her image. No, she's awful. She is what she is. Yeah, she is uh, a dud. She's a real stick in the mud. <laughs> What's a stick in the mud? I don't know why. stick that, in the mud. Yeah, how did that become like something that's, ugh, you're a real stick in the mud? Because mud, it's, let's be honest, nobody says mud that is stickless rules. Mud stinks. <laughs> At least a stick tells you how deep it is. I don't know why that's so <laughs> bad. I don't know either. You're a stick in the mud. Or maybe it's just it was an old Irish expression and said, oh, he's sticking in the mud. Yeah, you're a stick in the mud. Maybe you're sticking and it became a stick in the mud. Yeah. yeah or maybe well, you're, you're dick in the mud was misinterpreted. We're going to find out right stick now. Stick in the mud. Stick yeah. in origin. The mud, origin. 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 Stick in the mud. Pompeii. The figurative Eesh. phrase stick in the mud derives from the imagery of someone whose feet are stuck in wet clay and is unable to progress. It was preceded in the language by earlier versions, for example, uh, stick in the briars, comma clay, comma mire, etc. Uh, these were usually applied to people who remained in a difficult situation either by choice or because they were stuck. That was preceded by queer in the hay or <laughs> Jew in the belfry. And these just weird, these weird ways words become. That's some dinosaur <laughs> shit. Nigga in the woodpile. <laughs> <laughs> That's some dinosaur shit right there. Uh, yeah. Is that what it is? Some of the dinosaurs get stuck. We yes. call them all muck and mire. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, you're such a you're such a stick in the La Brea tar pits. That's where that started. <laughs> you're a brontosaurus in the La Brea tar pits. That's too long. It's not getting the message across. Let's update it. Stick in the tar pits? No. Goes back to 1733. Damn. Wow. See, I would have said 1735. I would have been off yeah, by two yeah. years. Stick in the mud. Damn. Maybe it should be. Uh, maybe it's an anal sex reference. Like when you're trying to fuck a girl and your dick actually goes in and you pull it out. And it, it, it looks like a, a like a fucking Reese's peanut butter cup commercial gone wrong. Oh my god! You dipped your penis in my shit. Oh, a lovely snack we've created. You got shit on my penis. Exactly. There's shit blood and a little swab of paper on my penis. Oh well, look what you've done to my asshole. Oh Yummy my snack time. It's not even seven. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, Ramon in Philly. Ramon. Oh, no. Hey, guys. Hey, Ramon. You think that, uh, that that interview was worse than the fucking George Went one? Look, man, I still love the George Went interview. And uh, once again, Bum Dant wasn't here for that one. Because yeah. that, was, that was a terrific fucking day. That guy was deeply depressed and possibly on, under the influence of beer from the night before. He was a real horse's patoot. <laughs> oh my God, George went sucked. I almost canceled. If my you tell me, if you tell me to leave, fine. <laughs> we weren't. Oh God, he was just a very sad man. All right, I hate the Jesus, callers. it's exhausting. Yeah, she, she, George went to the store, bought himself some set. I got eggs in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, looks like you're eating a dud. <laughs> a dud. I love that. You got shoe leather in my vagina. You got vagina all over my shoes. The new dud candies by. 